Everybody, let me read to you what is going down in the gospel. Tax collectors and sinners were all drawing near to listen to Jesus. The Pharisees and scribes began to complain, saying, This man welcomes sinners and eats with them. <laughs> so, Jesus addresses the people by telling them this story about a man who has all kinds of sheep, a hundred sheep, and one of the sheep wanders off. So now he has 99. Dude, seriously, what is your problem? I'm just wondering if what Jesus said here is true. Gosh! And Jesus asks them this question. Would you not leave them all to go after this one sheep? So let me get this straight. Jesus is telling you to annoy your sister and throw her civilization all over the place. So that's what we got going down here with Grace and Dominic. Actually, he tells a story about a dude who has all kinds of sheep and he loses one, he leaves all the others behind, and he goes after that one and tries to find it. Yikes. All I'm saying is that's the story Jesus told, and I wanted to see if it would work. When you get to the part about the crucifixion, can you not role play? And then he tells the story of the prodigal son, or should I say, the story with the loving father. The youngest son goes up to his father and says, I want all my inheritance right now. And the father gives it to him. And so the son leaves to a different country or a different place, whatever. And the son spends it on not good things. And he squanders it. And it's all gone. And he finds himself having nothing. No food, no, nothing, nothing. And so he's like, even my father's servants have more to eat than I do. So he said, maybe if I come to my father and apologize and ask if I can be one of his servants, then I can come back. And so he travels back to his home. And as he's going down, as he's walking down the road, his father sees him walking. And he says, my son, where have you been? And they like run up and before the father starts talking, the son says, I am sorry, I, I wasted my inheritance. And before the son finishes, the father says, um, you were lost and now you were found. I missed you, all that stuff. They hug. The father has a huge celebration in honor of the son's return. And the oldest son sees this and he's like, what the heck? My brother left this house and like, he wasted all his inheritance, all of my father's money, and he's like, why are they having a celebration for him? I am better than him. I do better things than him. He is a bad man, bad. And the father hears the son say this. And the father is like, my son was lost, and now he's found, or something like that. He was like, he is dead, and now he is alive, and he's, so we're gonna celebrate. I have two questions for you, people. One, in what ways are you lost right now and need to come back to the arms of your loving father? Question two, who is someone you know right now who really needs to know God's love? Maybe God is wanting you to be like the father in the story, to go after them, to run after them, to love them, to welcome them back into God's love no matter what they've done. Ultimately, invite them back into a relationship with God through confession. It's awesome. We'll meet you this Sunday in the Eucharist. And above all, know how truly and deeply God loves, God loves you.